the first few days is getting people back running and getting the muscles working and activated again after five or six weeks off. Um, this week's been a lot more of the sharper, more intense stuff where you need the base fitness initially to do, be able to do that. New head coach at the forefront of it all, of course. How are you settling into life under him? Yeah, the manager's been good, to be fair. Um, he speaks in very good English, uh, which is a bonus. And then he's got a few new ideas, which some of us are new to. So everyone's on board and willing to learn under him. Yeah, he seems very hands-on and very keen on the individual approach. Has he sat you down yet and, and had a conversation? And if so, what did he have to say? Yeah, he spoke to, I think, as you say, I think he spoke to all of us individually. Um, he gave a few of us a call over the summer as well when he initially got the job, which is a nice touch. He didn't have to do that. Um, but yeah, I think he's very hands-on. He's, he's always telling jokes and laughing and joking, and it's a quite quite a relaxed atmosphere at the minute, but I'm sure he can, can lose it if needs be. Have you been surprised at his depth of knowledge on all the players out here, not just the senior pros, but those who have stepped up from the 23s as well? Yeah, definitely, especially last week. We had a few of the even younger lads uh, that have been training with us, and he knows everybody by their first and second name, which a lot of foreign managers... Um, don't tend to do until they've been in the building a number of months but um, the manager's come in and he's got to know everybody's face straight away and he's either very good with names or he's he's learnt a lot. Have you been impressed by the young lads that are on this training camp that the manager said there's no room for passengers and they're really pushing themselves to the forefront aren't they? Yeah definitely I think obviously we've got a small squad as it is but I think the five or six young lads that are here have acquitted themselves well. Um, even we probably had 10 or 12 of the young lads last week in Cottingham um, and they all did well and probably feel a bit unlucky not to be on the trip but it's one of them where the manager's probably working around a certain amount of numbers so it was impossible for him to bring everyone but I think the lads that are here have definitely doing their self justice. They have to impress, is it the same for the older pros as well? You've got just over three weeks to go now to make sure you're firmly in the plans for the season. Yeah definitely, I think especially once you get a new manager and new players come in or start of a new season, everybody's got to reprove their self. Um, and whether you're 17, 18 or in your 30s, I think it's the same for everybody. You want to go out there and impress your teammates, impress your manager and sort of do yourself justice. And I think everyone's t took that on board, to be fair, and everyone's given it their all. Usually when we come out to Portugal, it's 12 to 14 days of solid work on the training ground. This year you've got three friendly fixtures thrown in as well. Is that going to help to break things up a little bit and give you little targets to work towards? Yeah, for sure. I think obviously you can train building up to games and work out how you're going to recover after games and things like that. Um, but with a new manager and new ideas, it'll be interesting. The games will probably benefit him um, a lot. He can see the things that he needs to improve on and the things that we need to work on as a team, as well as whether that's new additions to bring in as well. Two games against English sides and then of course a game against Benfica who are a Champions League side. They're all going to provide different tests, aren't they? Yeah, definitely. Obviously the English sides, they'll be in a similar position to ourselves where they're gearing up for a tough season with a lot of games. Uh, so it'll be good to play them, but equally against the side like Benfica it'll be a good test uh, teams that are used to having a lot of possession of the ball and different tactics to, that we'll probably be used to in England so just about adapting on the day and the main thing is the staying injury free and getting fully fit for the start of the season but as you say it'll be three good and different tests. Looking ahead towards the season just briefly um, is it a similar feeling to a couple of years ago where you feel you maybe owe the fans a, a serious tilt at promotion after what happened last season? Yeah, for sure. We, we let ourselves and everyone down, especially probably the first half of the season um, and the last few weeks of the season. Uh, the middle part was relatively good, um, but we left ourselves too much to do after the first half of the season. Um, Squad-wise, was probably in a firmer position a couple of years ago. I think we only lost James Chester and Robbie Brady that year and we managed to keep hold of everybody else. Uh, this year seems like it might be a little bit different, but... I'm sure the manager's got a few signings up his sleeve and players that are rearing to go and promotion's got to be the objective again. And as we've seen this week, there is still plenty of quality out there. Yeah, for sure. Obviously, we've got Oller in from Chelsea. Um, he's only trained last night with us, but he looks good as well. Um, and I think for a club, the situation we're in, it's about working the loan system as well as permanent signings. Um, so we'll see what we can get done before the start of the season.